Over the years, Wales has produced some of the finest players ever to grace the snooker table. The original Welsh trailblazer was Ray Reardon. The man known as Dracula terrorised the sport in the 1970s, winning six world titles. Then came Terry Griffiths. With his methodical style of play, he became world champion in 1979 in what was just his second professional tournament. In more recent years, Wales King of the Bays has been Mark Williams. Another player from the Valleys, he was crowned world champion in 2000 and 2003. Now 41, the Welsh potting machine is still ranked in the top 16. Hoping to continue Wales' glorious snooker tradition is 15-year-old Jackson Page. Transworld Sport headed to South Wales to find out more about him. I hope to be like, you know, number one in the world, world champion, hopefully a number of times. And just you know, do what I, I hope to do, like dreams, you know, everyone's dream is to do well at something or like something like that. And I, I want to like, be the best I can be. Last August, just weeks after his 15th birthday, Jackson triumphed at the Under-18 World Championship in Belgium. He beat the number one seed, Yun Fung Tam of Hong Kong, by five frames to four. It's unreal. It's like, when I first went to the tournament, I was like, just get a good run, hopefully do, do your best, and then to come out winner, it was just unreal. I just, just, feel, I just didn't know what I feel really, it was just speechless. Jackson practices for hours every day and he began playing at a very young age. I was about three and my, my nan and bump got me a little table and a little queue when I was younger and put it in my bedroom and I was just playing. And then when I was about six I started on full size down here and everywhere. Started the tournaments and then just started from there really. Jackson practices at the Mark Williams Snooker Hall in Tredegar, South Wales. Williams bought the club in 2010 with Jackson's manager, Simon Griffiths. He's got his schooling he's got to do first, uh, but after school then he's uh, gets in here about three o'clock. He's probably on most days then until six, seven o'clock. He's got a great temperament, which is absolutely essential for a snooker player. You know, if, you, if your temperament is suspect, you're going to really struggle when, especially as you get up the higher up the levels you go, temperament is so important, and that's a big part of his game. You know, he's got a really good temperament. He got that nice, nice laid-back personality that so goes with the temperament of a, of a, of a good snooker player. You know. Jackson regularly competes against players much older than him. Some might see that as a daunting prospect, but the young Welsh teenager sees it as an opportunity to develop his game. It gives you a lot of experience. You know, it's, it's a key part of the game when you, when you get the higher levels. You know, experience, you know, a lack of experience can lose you games. Experience can win you games even when you're playing bad or something like that. So it's, uh, it's a big, big help in, in the game. Go into places like when we went to Russia for the World Championships, He's, he's won the World Championship in Belgium, obviously, last year. So he's gained a hell of a lot of experience for a youngster already, you know. But obviously, the, you can never get enough experience, and he'll, he'll just carry on with the, with the tournaments, and then hopefully he'll gain the experience he needs to progress. A prolific break builder, Mark Williams, has amassed 368 century breaks so far in his 25-year career. Like Williams, Jackson is a strong potter and break builder. He's only 15. I mean, his long potting is, is excellent. Reminds me a bit of myself uh, when I was that age. Uh, you know, he's got to improve uh, on, on his safety aspects and stuff like that. But, I mean, there's not even any point trying to tell him about stuff like that. He's young. Just got to let him enjoy it, go for his shots. Jackson first came to the attention of Mark Williams at a young age, and the two-time world champion has been happy to offer advice. 
Max, and another one that, like, when I was younger, I always used to watch, like, like Ronnie and Johnny Gins. You know, you, they were the ones I grew up watching, and they were all like an idol to me. Like, I always like sort of uh, knew what, like, looked at what they were doing, and then I'd like try and copy it, and try and see if went see if what was best, and see what I was best doing, and everything like that. And they, they would. Like obviously with Mark down here, he's, he's been a big help as well, playing and like give, like tell me what to do, like what to do better, um, you know what to stop doing, and it's big, really big help. It's obviously good to have Mark around the club, you know what I mean, because he's a role model to look up to, you know what I mean. And Mark's yeah, Mark's very good with uh, with Jackson. He you know he gives him a lot of advice, and uh, obviously they play quite a bit together. And Jackson now is it's good for Mark as well, because obviously Mark being still you know in the top 16 of the world. Snooker rankings. It's good for to, for Mark to have somebody who is capable of taking frames off him to give him some competition as well. So it sort of swings around a bunch for the two of them, really. Away from the snooker hall, Jackson, who's in his final year of high school, enjoys spending time with his family. People telling me to, that you know, I can do it and giving me confidence and is. It's a big key because if, say, you lose in a tournament, it's, it does like hurt a lot, especially if you lose someone you don't you don't think you should lose to. Uh, but it's a lot, lot of confidence really because you have your uh, family, you know, Simon. You, you, they say, "Come on now, you, you you can do this," and then it's it's a lot better. You know, it gives you a lot of confidence. This month, Jackson will compete at the Welsh Open after being awarded a wild card. It will be his first taste of a professional event. And looking further ahead, the highly rated youngster will take part in the qualifying tournament for this year's World Championships. Jackson at the minute is, is winning near enough every tournament he plays in, under 15s, under 18s, under 21 tournament. You know, a massive prospect and improving all the time if he can keep improving then. You know, you can achieve everything. <laughs>